Grab your magic carpets, Internet! Praise be to God, and welcome back to another episode of Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. You're grabbing your magic carpets because we're going to Agrabah today. And there are a few reasons I'm going to Agrabah. Number one, Agrabah has a couple of annoying enemies that I don't want to deal with in excess if we do the world last. And also, the boss of Agrabah will give you probably... No, not probably, definitely the greatest enemy card in the entire game. Halloween Town and Wonderland, those will have to wait. I'm probably going to do Halloween Town last because that has the least annoying enemies, and if I do it last, it'll have the most rooms, and therefore I'll have to fight more enemies there than in other places. And Wonderland is, it's alright, there are a few annoying enemies, but mostly the cards you get in this world kind of stink. So we're going to Agrabah, where stuff is better. Yeah! Agrabah is one of my favorite worlds. Look, Sora, someone's in trouble. <laughs> Getting into trouble a little early today, aren't we, Aladdin? We'd better do something! Looks like you could use some help. Thanks! I thought I was done for! Welcome to Agrabah, everybody. We still got the bouncy wild card. So the one annoying thing about this area is we've got the green Requiems, which makes the raid attacks not effective against them. But it's very effective against the bandits. So I'm going to try taking out these uh, green Requiems first. And if more enemies spawn, I can hurl my Keyblade at them. Nope, never mind. Meeting ground. Ooh, even more. They just keep coming! Guess we better see if the legends are true. Uh, we can take them. Magic lamp, my first wish. Get rid of these heartless. You got it. Did someone say wish? Then stand back, kids. Genie of the lamp coming through. There ain't nothing I can't make right as rain. Well, if we had rain. But enough dry jokes. One heartless disappearing act coming up. I apologize for my terrible Robin Williams voice. Gorsh! Why didn't you call him in the first place? It's not that simple. You see... I couldn't have said it better myself, but I will anyway. I'm strictly limited to free wishes per master, and no wishing for more wishes. <laughs> so you've got two wishes left? Better use them carefully. I've got to get back to the palace somehow, but with all these heartless... Hey, Sora, we're headed that way, too, so why don't we go with Aladdin? Sounds like a plan. That would be great! Thanks a lot, guys! And we obtained the Key of Beginnings. And we have Aladdin in our party. So Aladdin will now fall in battle much like Donald and Goofy as a card, and we can use him to fight, and he's really good. All right. These are fat bandits, and these are the annoying enemies I was worried about. But thankfully, with you've got with the raid attacks, they're not too bad. Actually, with the raid attacks, Aladdin's not even really necessary. Woohoo! So actually, I really like that wave of enemies <laughs> with the fire and ice raids. They're easy. Green Requiems, on the other hand, are much more annoying to deal with. Hi, Fat Bandit! We throw our Keyblade right, we can hit the Fat Bandit more than once. Or more than twice. With our raid attack. Or we can just do that. Oh yes. Give me all the Aladdin cards, please. So Aladdin, when you first use him, you're probably gonna be- Aladdin's terrible! He doesn't do anything. He does. So if we use Aladdin, he just swings his sword in front of you, but he also moves with you. So you can use that to actually hit enemies tons of times. Even just one Aladdin card is pretty good. Ooh, nice! And Moogle Room! Excellent. Ooh, a zero Moogle Room. That's really good. And we got Air Soldiers in this world. Oh, really? I only hit those two? Here! 
Lasting Days, that's a good card. Strong Initiative, that's one of my favorites. Alright, level up, let's boost CP. As I've said in the past, CP is OP. Alright, let's take out the Barrel Spiders. Uh-oh, we got more! Luckily, I've got multiple raids at my disposal. Moments Reprieve. We saw that at the beginning of the game. That makes the empty room with the save point in it. But we don't need save points in this Let's Play. Not at least in t <laughs> except for the ones that are in Castle Oblivion. More Barrel Spiders. Excellent. I like when they start the battle by charging you instead of blowing up. Like that. Really? More? Get out of here. You never know how many barrel spiders are going to spawn. So jump on the barrels and these store huts to get uh, points in this world. Either health points or moogle points. Let's see what the world map's like. Got quite a few rooms, that's good. We're going to start out with a calm bounty, I think? Well, actually... Got Strong Initiative, only one. Strong Initiative is a really good card. Basically, it creates a large room, so there's lots of stuff to collect in it, but only a, a moderate amount of enemies. And if you get the first strike on the enemy, then the first wave of enemies all take massive damage, and you can kill them really easily. Lasting Days, if you use it, it's kind of the same thing. Large room, uh, medium amount of Heartless. And if you get the first strike, then every wave of Heartless that appears in battle will be stunned briefly, as opposed to just the first wave. Alright, what about a uh, Moogle Room? Nah, not Moogle Room. I'll use a Calm Bounty. Hit the large barrels. And we get Gravity. Oh, Gravity's a terrible card. Absolutely terrible. Deals damage relative to the enemy's remaining HP. It deals minimal damage. Oh man, I've got way more CP than I know what to do with. I guess I'll equip Cloud. Why not? I have three... How do I have three Simbas? <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Moogle Shop. Alright. Let's go with Strong Initiative. Strong Initiative is probably my favorite card. Or at least map card. One of them. These are bandits, and they have, like, no HP. Granted, because of my raid abilities, that doesn't really matter. Looks like the bandits are strong enough to survive two different raid attacks. That's interesting. Show off Cloud. Well, thanks for nothing, Cloud. He so if he hit them with his sword, that would have been like an instant kill. So he's good. Draw lasts for five reloads? Dang, that's really good. Also, Acrobat music is amazing. I like it much better in the Game Boy Advance than uh, in the PS2, believe it or not. Aladdin. Aladdin is like the best partner in the game. Ooh, the Air Soldier enemy card. That one's actually decent. It allows you to reload while in motion, so you don't have to stand still while using it. Uh... Might as well. I mean, I have no other cards that I want to use. Oh, one other thing. I'm gonna move Cloud to a bit earlier in the deck before the cures. Another level up. Let's boost HP this time. I'm almost level 20. 
This, that's kind of amazing. Oh man! Storm initiative isn't gonna work now. Now I'll show off Cloud. He's pretty up, boss. See, Keenum Key level 8. That's pretty good. I like high value Kingdom Key cards, I use them even to the end of the game. Level 3 Kingdom Key, alright. Crown Door, Key of Guidance, so we'll have to go there later. Guessing that's the Room of Rewards. We gotta go there sooner or later, so. Zoom. Two or higher. I'll show off stagnant space. So yeah, really long narrow corridor, and the enemies move slowly. Also, depending on what room you create, you can find different waves of enemies in the battles. This is very interesting. Gotta pick up the Aladdin cards. If you can stack multiple Aladdin cards together, uh, the more Aladdin cards you stack together, the longer he stays around on the screen. So for example, here he's gonna stay around for like twice as long. Thank you, Aladdin. Alright, that's all the Heartless in the corner? Except Barrel Spiders, of course! Stop a spawning right in front of me, I want to get you guys in a line. Great. Yeah, they just keep spawning, this is ridiculous. There we go. What up, CP? That reminds me, I need to edit my deck a bit. I guess a cloud can stay in my... Well, actually, ooh, no, 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 you know what I'm gonna do? you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna equip my free Simbas just to see what happens. Oh, I guess Cloud can stay. <laughs> I wonder what free Simbas are gonna do. Aha! The Free Wishes Keyblade! Yes! That's the Acrobat Keyblade and it's pretty good. As you can see, it has C plus attack, just like the Olympia. Alright, we gotta remove a Keyblade then. Um, value free Keyblade? No thank you. Of course. They successfully blow up at the beginning, like, you're, that's pretty much a guarantee you're going to be fighting a lot of barrel spiders. There we go. Thank you! At last it wasn't barrel spiders. Ooh, nice! Moogle points galore. Bad thing about stagnant spaces, there are very few things to interact with, except for barrels. That's the key of truth. We're gonna have to come back there later. Why did I do that? I knew that was going to be a barrel spider, and I did it anyways. Gotcha. 
Oh, another stagnant space card. All right. Two or higher. Let's go for Moogle Room. I've got Moog uh, quite a few Moogle points, so why not? And I'm about to get more. Sweet! Is that... Oh, that's Keep Beginnings, really. That means Room of Rewards has to be further beyond up. But obviously I want to enter that room just to fight the Heartless inside it. Hey, Moogle. Here's a card pack for you, Koopo! He always gives you the lowest level attack card pack. Oh, great. A couple premium cards. Premium cards you can also trade in for a lot of Moogle points. Well, that's a good free wishes and that's a decent kingdom key, so... Alright. Yeah, so these red ones will only contain attack cards. The blue ones only contain, contain magic or summon cards. The green ones only contain item cards, and these can contain whatever. So I want to buy a magic pack. Simba, cure, cure, fire, good. Ooh, blizzard, nice. I would love more cloud cards. Dumbo, alright. I have free Dumbos, so I guess that's alright. Get an attack card pack. Free wishes, nice. Not nice. Eh, eh. Alright, well, I got a winner with the free wishes at least. I want another magic pack. Hey, premium cloud, I'll take that. That can be the start of a cloud slate. I, I'll go for that. Sure, there are a bunch of terrible cards I can turn in. Like, all of my low-valued kingdom keys. <laughs> yeah, premium cards go for way more. You see, I get 14 for that one. That is a ton of cures. You can also trade in your enemy cards, and actually, they're not worth that much. That's okay, I needed to salvage some Moogle points. Sorcerer's Waking, all magic and summon cards increase their values by two. So as you can see, my Blizzard cards are now worth more, or are now higher value. Same with my Fire cards. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cycle over to my Simba cards. Proud Roar. Yeah, that dealt a hefty amount of damage, and now Cloud's finishing them off. Proud War, if you have free Simba stock, that creates Proud War, which deals way more damage and stuns them than just one Simba card would do. Ooh, Green Requiem! Dang, I am getting a lot of enemy cards. The enemy cards are dropped randomly, so collecting them all is a huge pain in the butt. This increases up the potency of cure abilities, so if you have this equipped, your cure cards will heal more HP. It's not great. But it's okay. I have, wow, I'm only missing the yellow opera out of those heartless. That's that's amazing. Dang, free Simbas is actually pretty good against common enemies. I still can't learn a new slate. Are you serious? Yes, please. Oh, I know. Uh, let's see. That's a premium card. You can tell which cards are premiums because they're shiny. So you can see if that one's shiny. So we'll remove that blizzard. And we'll remove that fire. That's a premium blizzard. Oh, I guess. Okay, that still frees up some extra room. I want... Oh, are you kidding me? That's one CP too much. I don't really need this cure. I also don't really need Cloud, to be perfectly honest. Alright, 
do 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 do. I'm gonna put Simba at the bottom of my deck so I can quickly cycle to it. Alright. That should be all the enemies in Agrabah. Free wishes level 6, nice. Kingdom Key level 4, less nice. Alright, we do not have what it takes to open the key the room of rewards. But even if we did, I wouldn't want to use the key of rewards on Agrabah. With enough grinding, once you reach a certain point in the game, you can get as enough uh, key of rewards to open every room of rewards in every world. But that takes a decent amount of grinding. And some reward room of rewards have better rewards than others. And Agrabah's, if memory serves, is terrible. Alright, eight or higher. Got two nines there. Let's go with one of those, and then key of beginnings. So, uh, why are you going to the palace, Aladdin? It's this magical lamp I found at the Cave of Wonders. I need to get it to the palace right away. I'm lucky I made it back to Agrabah in one piece. The cave was crawling with Heartless. Wasn't there anyone else there to help you out? I know how you feel, Master. I've been delivering happiness for 2,000 years, and what help do I get? I keep dreaming someone will wish me out of this gig, but go figure the odds on that. Well, how about I use my third wish to set you free? Duff, my pointy ears deceive me! Master, you do that for me? You're not just pulling my top knot, are ya? <laughs> I promise, Genie. Anyway, there's only one thing I really want. Then we'll just have to do something about that, Al. What can I call you, Al? So, what will it be? Fame, fortune, a herd of luxury camels to call your very own? <laughs> well, there's this girl. Her name is Jasmine. She's Princess of Agrabah. She's pretty sassy. You've probably heard of her. And that's the problem. It's hard for a guy like me to get a chance to see her. That's how all this started. Jafar, the royal vizier, said he would help me meet Jasmine. Sounds like your wish would be that you can see Jasmine any time you want, huh? Well, I've got just the package for you! Not only will you meet the lady, you'll go in style! As Prince Ali! How do you like the sound of that, Al? <laughs> Me? A prince? Can you really do that? In an Agrabah minute! I guess the legends were true after all. Sora, let's hurry to the palace! Key of Guidance. But more importantly, now we can <laughs> hit all this stuff again to get more prizes. I have lost track of the amount of barrel spiders I've had to fight. Alright, Key of Guidance. One or higher. Do I have some duplicate low numbers, I wonder? Not really. I guess I'll use a four calm bounty. And then Key of Guidance. I like getting rid of duplicate cards before anything else. Hey, look at that! Who is that? It's Jasmine! She needs our help! We'll never make it in time. Then I have no choice. Genie, I wish for you to save Jasmine! Can't do charge! I can't do a genie voice. Sorry. Sorry, Al. Jasmine! We're lucky. She fainted, but it looks like she's okay. But now you've only got one wish left. Not again! Sorry, Genie, but you're the only one who can... Wait! This is your last wish. Don't waste it. This time, let us handle the wish granting. Yeah, Aladdin. Whoosh! Have you seen me Blizzard Raid? <laughs> Bro, can you even Blizzard Raid? Seriously, if you can Blizzard Raid, the game becomes a lot easier. Fire Raid also works very well, too. Woohoo! Oh, and we get an Aether for that. That's a special item that re quickly reloads your magic cards that you've lost. See? We didn't need Genie this time. Thanks, Sora. So I'm down to my last wish. 
Ahem, I seem to recall a promise you made. What the? What? What's happening? Oh no, the lamp! It's gone! How the heck did that happen? Teleportation? Ah, Jafar, my most trusted advisor. Hmm, it seems my plans have gone amiss. I was certain you'd waste your last wish. What with poor Jasmine in distress and the Heartless to deal with. But no matter, at last the lamp is mine to command. Why are you doing this, Jafar? I brought the lamp just as you asked. Don't think you can fool me, boy. You were going to use the lamp to win Jasmine. But we can't have that now, can we? You see, I am the one Jasmine will marry. I like a lady with some sass. You? Yes, of course. If I marry Princess Jasmine, nothing can stop me from becoming King of Agrabah. It's Sultan. You're nothing more than a pawn in my game, street rat. Genie, my first wish. Deliver Jasmine to me. What a stupid wish. If you could have a wish, then literally get anything you want in the entire world. Why would you use it on something as stupid as that? Genie, what are you doing? Sorry, Al. My hands are tied on this one. I gotta obey whoever has his mitts on the lamp. Precisely. Farewell, Aladdin, you fool. <laughs> Great. No, I've lost Jasmine and the lamp. Well, you can feel bad about it some other time. If you don't pull yourself together, you'll never see Jasmine again. You lost the lamp. So what? You can still save her on your own. Losing someone you care about is bad, but it's not as bad as never getting them back. Sora. Man, you're a lot nicer in the newer games. You're right! I can't give up now! I'm going to save Jasmine! But Jafar's got the lamp! We can't just walk up to him and expect to win. Maybe we can. I've got an idea. Listen up! And we get the key of truth. <laughs> and more importantly, we can smash all this stuff again. Oh boy, another gravity. Just what I wanted for Christmas. Not. Gravity sucks. <laughs> Get it? Really brings my mood down. You can't force me to use gravity. Oh my gosh, why do people watch my videos? For puns like this. I guess you could call me the Punisher. Eh. Eh. <laughs> wow, that little barrel had a lot of Moogle points in it. Okay, apparently I finally fought all the barrel spiders out of Agrabah, even though I don't think that's something you can do. I think it's just totally random whether a barrel will be a barrel spider or not. So before we fight the boss, I'm actually going to create a new deck. Deck number two. And I'm basically going to fill this with all of my attack cards, essentially. Because the boss, I'm not going to be able to use my raid attacks on. Let's see, what else do I want? Cloud's not going to be helpful. Air Soldier could be helpful. Actually, Hades could be pretty helpful for this. Why not? I'll equip Hades. Guard Armor could actually be slightly helpful. Do that as well. Quick load all attack cards. That could be useful. Yeah, why not? This is my deck. Let's see, another cure. <laughs> exactly, yes! Alright, now I'm gonna hit A next to here. Equip deck. Now I have equipped deck number two, so this is the one I'm going to be taking in battle. Honestly, if I if I brought my other deck into the battle, it really wouldn't be a big deal. I could still easily win, but this will just make it a bit easier. All right, we need a red card, any red card. Let's use Sleeping Darkness. We need a green card, any green card. Let's use a level seven Sorcerer's Waking, because I've got three of them. And then the Key of Truth. What's this? Has Aladdin given up on his precious Jasmine already? 
Well, I'm not going to waste a wish on the likes of you, Free. I'll deal with you myself. Aladdin, now! What? You! Genie! Seize him! Ow, forgive me! Oof! You fell for it, Jafar! What do you mean? He means that you just blew your second wish. Only one left. Go ahead, use it to win Jasmine's heart. You'll still have to deal with us. Oh, now I get it! Ow, you are so clever! Well, well, the cunning of a rat. But unfortunately, you can't see beyond the cheese. Your little ploy changes nothing. I can crush you once and for all, and make Jasmine my own. Genie, my last wish! Transform me into an all-powerful genie! You're getting like the Disney stories condensed, kind of. Whoa, how did we teleport here? <laughs> it's so hot! Jafar must be doing this. We get to fight Genie Jafar. You remember this from the first game. So Jafar has very high-valued cards, but besides that, he's not very good. Oh man, I'm mean, stuck in the bottom. So if I purposefully... So if I purposefully lose some HP... If I lose enough HP so that way Hades' Fane activates... Then... I'll be able to hit... So basically it'll last for 30 attacks, as you can see. So for 30 attack cards, I'll be dealing extra damage, provided my HP is low. And it has to be low enough so that it's like... Wah, wah, wah. There we go. I just have to be careful and not lose my head. Just break it to Jafar's attacks, and he's not that big of a deal. So yeah, Hades, Hades' power is what's allowing me to deal this much damage to Jafar. And then that potion's gonna bring back all of my cards. It's a high potion. Iago, why do you have to be over there? So I'm taking a needless risk on this one, essentially. Because I don't have to use the Hades card, but I want to show it off. And I am doing a lot more damage because of the Hades card. It's just risky. But for Jafar, who doesn't attack fr very frequently, it's not that big of a risk. Oh, I can use Blitz with this. <laughs> okay, that's pretty hilarious, actually. Alright, now the Jafar card's gone, let's use the Air Soldier. So yeah, I could move around while I was reloading, which is cool. Goodbye, Jafar. Oh, come on, really? There we go. Jafar is dead. Bye, Jafar! And now we get by far the most broken enemy card in the entire game. Jafar! I mean, it is insanely broken. Learn a new slate! Sonic... Yes! Okay. Game has officially been totally broken now that we have this. Sonic Blade. Rocket across the field, striking down any enemies in the way. Press the A button for up to six additional attacks. It's like sliding dash, but you can use it seven times. Alright, in order to do this, you need to stock free attack cards of different types, whose total value goes from 20 to 23. So fairly specific range, but if you build your deck around that, with the Jafar card, actually even without the Jafar card, it's it ridiculous. That takes care of that! Yep, Jasmine saved, and we got the lamp back, too! Hey Aladdin, don't you still have one wish left? <laughs> I seem to recall somebody was promising the frame, eh? He sure does! Time to, for me to make a prince out of this guy! Of course, I'd like to be free, but like they always say, genies can't be choosers. 
You're probably miffed about that whole puppet of Jafar thing anyway. Go on, Al. Wish for what's really in your heart. Be a prince. Get the girl. Yeah, we know how well that worked out in the movie. <laughs> okay, here goes. I wish for Genie's freedom. But Al! Now no one like Jafar can use you for evil again, Genie. You're free. Al, I'll never forget this. But what about Jasmine? What are you gonna do? I was wrong, Genie. If I used your help to win Jasmine, I'd be no better than Jafar. Jasmine means the world to me. I want to show her the real me. That's the spirit. Yeah, go Aladdin. Thanks, Sora, and good luck. What for? I was ready to give up back there, but then you said some things that kept me going. That's when it hit me. You must be looking for someone you care about, too. Yeah. Listen, Genie. Say no more, little pal! I know just what you're thinking! Here you go, Sora! I found this magic card, or I'm just lying out. It's a blizzard spell. <laughs> Whenever you need me, just call. That okay with you, Al? Of course. Are you sure? Any time at all. Hey, without you guys, I might never have been able to ditch that lamp. And I think Aladdin will be fine on his own now. Wow, thanks a lot. That That is the worst genie voice anyone's ever done. Let's hope both our wishes come true then. Take care, Sora. I feel like my Aladdin voice is at least semi-decent. But Genie, no, I'm not that I'm not that extroverted. <laughs> Obtained Genie. So Genie as a summon is uh he's interesting. So alright, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quit my old deck again. Alright, I could add that free wishes. Yeah, heck yeah. Alright. So we got Genie. Genie casts Fundera, Gravera, or Stopra. If he casts Fundera, it's great, but he rarely does that, so he's actually not very good. On the other hand, the Jafar card... Well, Jafar, stop enemies from breaking attack cards you play. Yeah, you read that right. I mean, he takes 65 CP, which is a lot, but considering the ability he gives, that's crazy. I think it works for 20 attacks. So essentially, if you play an attack card, provided that your card is high enough value to break whatever card is currently in play, or if there's no card in play, nothing can break the card you're playing. Not even zero cards. Oh, and also, I forgot to mention, on the Game Boy Advance version, this works for attack-based slates. So if I stack three attack cards together, and then use them, whether it's stocked cards or slates, enemies can't break that, even with zero cards, which really breaks the game. Oh, and I forgot, if you use attack base slates with the Jafar card, it doesn't decrement the counter for Jafar. So... Yeah, that's really broken. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna reorganize some stuff, so... We'll need three attack cards, essentially, whose total value will equal 20 to 23, and they all have to be different types. So let's get, so let's see. We get 8 plus 3, so that right there is 11, so we need a 9 card. Oh. Alright, well, Sonic Blade's not going to work out right now, but when we get later on in the game, um, future Moogle Shops where we can buy a lot more attack cards, Sonic Blade is going to be insanely broken. Who was that I remembered earlier? It wasn't Kyrie. Was there someone else? What's her name again? I know it. It was... It was... Sure, I should have heard of it! W what Get a move on! You want to find Rico and the cane, don't you? Well, yeah. Darn, it was on the tip of my tongue. What's on your mind, Sora? It's like you're in another world. Snap out of it! We gotta find the Kane and Rico! Thanks, Donald. <laughs> I love that nod. I remember! There was another girl! 
What? Where? <laughs> no, no, I mean on the islands where I used to live. Besides Kairi and Riku, there was another girl I was friends with. Uh, wasn't she that character from the Final Fantasy games? Well, I, I can't even remember her name. Selfie, was it? I don't know. The four of us used to play together all the time. Well, I'll be. I think that's the first time you've ever mentioned her. Yeah, I forgot all about her. I think she went away when I was still little. Very strange. Why are you remembering all that now? I'm not sure, but it's been coming back to me in pieces as we go through the castle. So what's her name? I don't remember. I feel kind of dumb. Here we are saying we won't forget our friends, and I can't even remember her name. Shara! Well, there's no rush. Let's keep going. You're bound to remember it, just like the rest. I guess so. Castle Oblivion, fifth floor. Something or another is bound to make you remember your friend's name. Another friend, huh? Why didn't you mention her before? You, we just told you, Donald. Blam! That's gonna do it for this episode of Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. Thanks for watching, I'm Colorful Artie. If you tune in next time, we're going to Wonderland. Uh, just like, uh, Alice, I guess. That's gonna be... Uh, that's gonna be a thing. Hope to see you then. Until we meet again, have a great day, and God bless.